All right, so what's up, guys? And welcome to Ghost Recon Breakpoints. So I've actually been keeping a close eye on this game ever since it got announced, and I'm really excited to be able to play it today. I'm excited to finally be able to bring you guys gameplay on a brand new ghost recon game this is going to be my very first time playing this game so not only is this video going to show you gameplay and what the gameplay features have to offer weapons etc etc but it's pretty much also going to be kind of like my first impressions of this game because i intend to most likely do a full series walkthrough on this game once it officially releases ghost recon breakpoint also offers a pretty great co-op experience in which you and your friends can drop in or drop out and you can also earn progression while you play with friends this game is going to be available officially on october 4th you can also get the ultimate or the gold edition if you want to get three days early access everything that you need to know about ghost recon will be down in the description below i want to thank ubisoft for sponsoring this video i'm really excited to try it out and without further ado let's do this welcome to aurora the incubator of world 2.0 <laughs> my name's jay skell and we've been expecting you you've been invited here to innovate to invent and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Hmm. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, everything looks too security perfect right for your now. family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. Where's the big butt? The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Uh, Thank you for joining Skeltech in a war. There it is. Together, I knew it. We are building tomorrow. I knew it. It was too perfect. By the way, that's pretty cool, though. It looks extremely futuristic. It's like a world separated from the world itself, which is it's pretty cool. Unable to establish a contact with Aurora, the, the CIA has launched Operation Greenstone. As the leader of the Spark Ops team of, ghosts, of 32 Ghosts, your objective is to restore communications. Okay. Aurora Pacific Ocean. All right, so here's her character. Damn, she's got some beautiful green eyes. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we have uh, this is where we get to create our character, which I knew it was a thing, so I was really excited about that. So I guess we can now try it out. So you can also randomize characters to see what that looks like. Okay. All right, so those are some of the like the default presets they just give you. Some of these scars are crazy though. Holy cow. All right, so <clears throat> we have male or female. I like how when you choose a male and you want to choose to female, it'll give you a preset of like what the male version of that female would look like or vice versa. So I'm going to go with male. And we are going to go. Here we go. We have some faces right here. Well, that one looks dope. The generic. Huh. I like the generic, man. It looks nice. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna kind of go through all of them just so you guys have an idea of what they look like. Just the face presets. This one looks good too, Leon. Leon kind of looks like this one in a way. Okay, we have Vasily, Sammy, and Paul Dixon. So I, I'm kind of leaning towards generic, but I feel like this one probably looks more like me. Um, or even Leon itself. Oh, what? I'll go with this one. Screw it. All right. We'll go with Leon. Eye color, we have black, blue. I'll kind of go through all the colors here so you guys can see them. Dark blue, light brown, light green, and yellow. I'm going to go with black. Then we have hairstyles. So we have Afro A and B, cornrows, mohawk, pompadour. I think that's how you pronounce that. Then we have short C, A, and D. Which is kind of interesting because where is B? Does that mean that... Most likely it means that during the game, the, the official release of the game, there's going to be more styles. I think I'm going to go with this one, though. That one looks sick. Okay, and then for the beard... Oh, snap. This looks awesome. We have the goatees. Um, let's see here. Long beard. 
And we have Longbeard B. I think I like the B one. This one seems slightly more badass, but when I grow my beard, it kind of looks more like this one. So I think I'll go with that one. That's that's perfectly fine. And then we have hair color. We have brown, dark, red, and gray. I'll go with dark. And then we have facial details. <clears throat> so we have the burns. I like the burns, but I feel like they're a bit too scary. Like, whoa, relax. <laughs> um, a, a bit too intimidating for me. But I am probably going to put one of these scars. Uh, let's see. I like this one. I like that one. Okay. There we go. So now we have the confirm page. Start with disappearance, save, and start. That's our character right there. I think he looks pretty decent. Pretty damn decent. Looks like he belongs. And now we are taking fire right immediately after peacefully creating our character. blood going up is he upside down on a tree or something let me tell you these graphics are pretty good nose and a dead fellow companion dear lord yeah these graphics are nice i like these graphics i mean the last ghost recon looked really good as well so god damn it Dude, look at that scar on his arm. Holy cow. Oh, that sounds awesome. Sorry, dude. All right, here we go. Ghost Recon. Breakpoint. Oh, dude, this looks freaking awesome. All right, so search for survivors. Uh, investigate three crash sites. Follow the small columns. <coughs> Heal and injury. All right, so interface, we can... Oh, that's nice. We can take it on and off. Okay, so heal and injury. Oh, we're using bandages right now. And we have unlimited bandages. Well, that's pretty nice. Unlimited bandages. All right, are we good? Oh, we're good. All right, so. I like how he holds the pistol. That's so sick. All right, so we have a uh, first person aiming down sight. So this removes the pi uh, the suppressor. And then the top D-pad while aiming would be the fire rate or fire selection mode. Which we cannot because we have a handgun. So maybe when we get like a, an assault rifle or something. And right here we have a weapon wheel or an items wheel, which we have the bandages, self-use, heals all injuries. I'm assuming we'll collect other items along the way. And if you press Y, these are your commands, which we have none right now. Wow, it's a lot of dead bodies, bro. Sheesh. All right, so here we go. We have running. Oh, dude, this is so sick. All right, so we can also switch between first person and third person, which is really, really nice. I might be using a little bit of both. I'm not too sure yet. We'll go here. Location discovered. Airship air station. 
Dude, this is like a freaking swamp. Okay, I'm gonna enable my... Hold on. There we go. I wanted to enable my interface. It's down on the D-pad. I thought it was up. So right here... Hold on. We have a nice little... Let's investigate this. This looks fun. Ooh. It's probably a med kit or something here. Because there is a little med kit symbol. Yeah. Oh, syringe. What? Well, hold RB to open the item wheel. And use uh, to select... Oh, dude. Oh, that's sick. Okay, I'll leave the bandages on for now. So that's exactly what that was. And now it's... Oh, I thought it was daytime. It's probably because we're uh, inside the uh, inside the dark there. Okay. I thought it was becoming daytime. Oh. What the hell was that? Up, man. <laughs> it's messed up, man. There's enemies here. Well, this looks like a pair of victims. Shall they be our first victims? I think so. Okay, here we go. See if we can sneak on them. Hey there, buddy. Oh. Ooh. Just snapped his neck. We don't really need to carry his body. There's only two of them. The? Oh my god! <laughs> that is ruthless! Did you see that? Alright, we're gonna carry this body. Let's see what we can do here. We're also gonna go inside that little bunker. So we have drop and throw. That's awesome. Okay. I'm gonna hide these bodies on the bush. The other one's kind of hidden, so I'm really not too particularly concerned about him. We're gonna drop this one here. I don't think anybody will come here. I think they're pretty far away from everything else, but I do kind of just want to try all these uh, actions. Damn, they really messed this bunker up. Oh, we got more ammo. Nice. All right, so we have a ladder as well. Ah, uh, this is gonna be so sick. I could have totally just gotten up here and just taken them out with my gun, but I don't think there was a need, so I think we're good. So climb ladder and slide down ladder. Oh, nice. <clears throat> oh, there's something else in there that I totally missed. Oh, frag grenade, hell yeah. Alright, boys. So, do we go to the, uh... Yeah, let's go over here. Wait a minute. What is that there? Oh, oh there's more bad guys. Okay. Alright, we have to be extra careful. No, I'm not gonna take off the suppressor. Are you crazy? Although, I should probably try it out. This is insane. There's body parts everywhere. I saw an arm by itself, an arm. Survivors, my ass. Who could have survived that? Whatever, Cherry. You're gonna learn that the only thing you can count on in combat is nothing follows any rules. Don't think for a second that someone couldn't have gotten lucky as shit and walked away intact. And there's no way anyone could survive a crash like that. We got some cool shit on this island. <laughs> Oh, sick. Want to try out the weapon. I was kind of like going back and forth between myself. Like, do I try out the pistol? Do I just take him out? But to be honest, I just decided to take him out. Screw it, man. All right, so we're going here and... Look at this. More syringes. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be able to stack a lot of these syringes up. More ammo. Oh, thank God that you just walk over them to pick it up. I'm so happy you don't have to, like, hold a certain button to pick everything up. Because it looks like there's a lot of things to pick up in this game. There's actually another separate bunker here. Let's go in here. 
trying to stack up, man. Stack up before the war. Okay, so I think uh, we're full on ammo. <laughs> okay, I think we can't pick up any more. All right. All right, all right, all right. I got it. We're also stacked up on grenades. So let's just go to this, this location here. So you also have your stamina. At the bottom, you see the stamina right there? I was exhausted from, from running too much. And then you can just wait a little bit and it regenerates. Oh, let's go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is our inventory here. Oh, my Lord. Now we have an assault rifle. Let's go, baby. Do we have a hat? Oh, man, we don't have a hat yet. Damn it. By the way, let me see. Um, so this is the hair, facial hair, face paint. Wait, what? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I know how to freaking face paint. Dude, that's so sick. I actually like this one. I'm gonna go with this one. Um, what else do we got? Let's see. Left arm tattoo. No freaking way, dude. Oh. Yo, that is so dope. Look at that eagle. That koi fish. You best believe I'm putting some tats. Oh, man. Look at that. That looks stunning. Holy cow. Yo, these are some pretty <laughs> these are some pretty sick tattoos. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh my goodness, I look like a damn crazy maniac. Oh dude, hold on. So here we have we have different vests. Okay, these are the ones that I have on, so I don't have anything unless we have a hat now available. Oh my lord, yes, we have a hat. Bro, look at our guy. We look completely different right now. I mean, we can't really see our tats because of the bandages since we're kind of injured. Shit. My soldiers. All right, so this is our first location. One out of three that we got to investigate. Sorry for your loss, buddy. Okay, so this is our pistol. Nice. All right, do we have a suppressor for this as well? Yes, we do. So now that we have the assault rifle, we can see uh, single fire and automatic. And this is A and B, which I still don't know what it does. But we can figure that out. All right, let's go to the next crash site. got our syringes or grenades also this is not just for heals this is also for grenades and stuff so now let me see if i can pick up ammo for our ar yes there we go explosives we were full if i missed okay yeah now we have ar bullets and i have a suppressor for my ar as well so it's actually pretty dope now, there's gonna be some bad guys in there i see there's another crate should we go for that crate i think we should huh Okay, hold on. You know what? I'm not even going to risk that chest yet. I'm going to go and do what I have to do. I'm going to be a good boy. There is a nice fancy crate there, but to be honest, I don't want to mess this up. So right there, you see we're exhausted. So when you're exhausted, you can't run anymore. You kind of like run, but not as quick. So then you just stop sprinting and it just refills itself. This atmosphere is freaking sick. Did I remember I used to play Ghost Recon games back in the days when I was little? My grandma's house. Jesus. It's the good old days. So we're going to go inside this bunker. Hopefully there's nobody in here. See, we didn't really need to go over there. We have a crate right here we can open. Please give me another weapon. Oh. 
the heavy tech. Okay, so now we can upgrade our, our, our gear. Here we go. Dude, I love this so much. The fact that we could just upgrade our freaking gear. It's amazing. Wait, did I put it on or what? Yeah, I did. It's a level six. I can probably climb up here. Who are these guys? What a mess. No one can survive those crashes. Well, we better make damn sure. No stone will have our asses if he finds out someone survived and we missed them. Okay, we're gonna stay in the tall grass. Never been to this part of the island before. Give me the creeps. Man, if I'd seen what they were up to Whoa. out here. Oh. oh my god, these guns feel so damn good. Oh my goodness. All right, so we got a new skill. Let's see the tutorial. Obtain new skills. These skills uh, many allows you to specialize as ghost. Each class has a, spe a specific passive and class technique. So obtain new skills. Start by unlocking your first class. All right, so... This is the field medic. Hand deployable device heals injuries and gains extra health. Last proficiencies, faster revive, carry bodies faster, can self revive, extra health. And it has a grass, uh, the, the grass grenade, the gas grenade, bonuses with assault rifles and shotguns. And this is the cloak and run, bonus stealth, faster movement speed. Oh, I like that one. Armor buster, longer breath hold while control, uh, while aiming, and bonus with sniper. I like this one. Hell yeah. Yes, that is so sick. All right, so here we have the basics, which we need skill points. So we can't really unlock any of these. But for instance, one of them is deploy your parachute by pressing A. Of course, if you're in a higher ground, and then activate night vision by pressing, oh my God, 20x speed bonus. And uh, the, what is this? Reload speed plus 15% and plus 10 mobility. Close and personal. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to go to these bodies. I don't think I need to hide them. I think we're pretty much on the clear here. There's something here. Something on the mini-map here. Oh, that's AR rounds. Okay. We'll pick that up. Thank you very much. Oh, man, it's so... Oh, a P90? What? Hold on, hold on. Let me... I have to equip myself a P90, bro. All right, so now we have two uh, primary weapons. Very nice. And we got the P90. I don't think the P90 is suppressed, though. Or is it? It is. Oh, my God, yes. Suppressor is on. All right, let's go. There's got to be somebody. Oh my god. Stormcloud 1 1, this is Weaver. Come in. Over. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. Anything? We got. Contact. Contact. Oh no. What the hell? As soon as that man pulls up. Walker. Shall we, Weaver? Oh, my God. No way, dude. They want to just put the damn Punisher here, huh? Walker. Dangerous area. What the hell are you doing? Okay, so Walker just betrayed us so enemy level uh dangerous and very uh and very dangerous enemies have a marker over their head so dangerous and very dangerous is red 
So, enemy level. Equip new weapons and gear to increase your gear level and overall power. Okay. So, I don't think I have anything else. I mean, my gloves are pretty simple. So, investigate the crash sites to follow the smoke columns. So, I think... Yeah, we shouldn't... Oh, my God. All right. So, we can kind of pin these... So these are very difficult enemies. I don't need to really precisely go for them right now. Just kind of sneak by them. Just because we're not ready for that type of battle right now. Uh, we're a little bit under uh, under equipped. See, these are more of our alley. These, these, these guys are more simple. These guys are noobs right here. These are bots. Should we take them out? I really don't want them to, to turn around on me and then offer reinforcement. Search for survivors? That's a joke. You see those things go down? Just keep looking. Our job is to find anyone who might have survived. It's gonna take <laughs> oh, God. Dude. Was for. It's gonna be such a good story just because of what we just saw. Like, we have been betrayed. Oh, my God. So let's try out the other one, the neutralize. Which was... Well, well, we've been neutralizing this grab. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I want you to look at you. I'll just run around with you and just have some fun, huh? You want to be the bad guy? Huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Kill enemies as close as possible with the CQC to fill your panther technique gauge. <laughs> Oh my god. That's what happens when you fool around. Got these boys lurking. I just smoked a ghost first kill of the day. <laughs> these guys ain't shit. I don't know what everyone's worried about. You just better hope to God we kill them all. Last thing you want on this island is a pissed off ghost. You know what? I'm just going to use this. Nope, never mind. There's more people over there. There is a lot of people over there. You know what I could, kind of. Yep. Screw it. I don't give a crap. You guys are here to take down the ghost? <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. Alright, so right here we're pretty well hidden. So I'm kind of going to pin all of these bad guys. I like how you could just pin like that. It's so simple. It's easy and effective. It's almost as simple as picking up bullets in this game, which is something I'm really enjoying right now. Just hover over things. Just walk over them and you're good to go. All right. So I have to be kind of careful how I approach this. There is some tall grass, but I don't know if this is tall enough. See, right here, we're visible. Yes, you're right. Let's see if we can go around. Alright, so we got some tall grass here. This is good. See, there's no need for confrontation right now. We could just take our time, go around them. It's too many of them and only one of us. I'm going to stay kind of crouching here just because I feel like we're very easily spotted in this area. I mean, I kind of do want to go head to head with them, but I don't know if I should. I don't want to be a failure. I'm going to open up this crate. Ooh. Very nice. I'm going to search this site. I'll probably take him out after. Just depends. Mayday. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, ghost lead. Who is this? A friend. 
I got the radio from a ghost. Hmm. This ghost still breathing. Ghost lead, you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go sleet out. Alright, so we got the uh, investigating the crash sites. Now we gotta go that way. Alright, so reach the ancient ruins. The trail leading to the Twin Falls Mountains. Start behind the ancient ruins. Okay. Let's get out of here. And now we just need to do things smart. And there is a lot of bad guys over there. They do have a nice little vehicle, though. I could literally just steal it from them. I don't think they'd mind if we steal their vehicle. I think they'd be okay with that. I love the, uh... The scenario, like the setting in this game. It's so swampy. I'm pretty sure that the entire game is going to be like this, but it's just freaking dope. Dude, should we take him out? Hey, what's the report? No All right, we're going to move out. Your team over there, your team on that. Okay, they're going to move out, so I'm going to play this smart. Maybe I. I don't know, but I'm kind of second guessing myself. I probably shouldn't. We don't have enough people to search an area this big. It's either it's gonna take him out. Screw it. it. Must be huge. Just take him out. <laughs> so L RB and LB to use cloak and run technique. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, let me check that out. Okay, so each class has uh, progress to rank 10. So open up the details page for more information on your equipped class. Okay, so... Kill enemies while stealth. Vanish from enemies. Okay, so those are like little objectives that you have to do in order to keep ranking up and stuff. Oh, nice. A vector. All right. Well, that was successful. That was fun. And we still have a lot of bullets left, so I am good. So do we take uh And you know what? This motorcycle looks really fun right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, this game is freaking beautiful. Bro, this game is super nice. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna take the motorcycle. Or the, the Trail TX. Okay, so handbrake, lights. Look behind. Alright, here we go. I'm not sure this is the safest way to do this just because we are kind of exposed here. Oh! <gasps> We are in the ancient ruins. I'm gonna park this right here. Here we go, guys. I kind of want to just go like super crazy on them. Like I, I like stealthy, but I don't know. A part of me just wants to really go in there, just cause some havoc right now. What a mess! No one can survive those crashes. No one except me. I just got to kind of pin all these dudes. Because right now I have no idea where they are. Oh, look. We have another crate here. Nice. Skill credits. Excuse me, sir, but I think you're dead. Only two little bullets. That's all it takes. To kill you bastards. Or there's only two of them. 
That was more. That's good. All right, let's get out of here. Let's take this vehicle. Let's try something different. Oh, not the passenger, man. What are you doing? All right, so change seat. Okay. We go on the front, and then we can change seat on the front. So, drive. Nice. See, I feel more safe in this. I feel a bit more safe in one of these. Uh, is there a way that we can put, like, a waypoint? Like, let me see. If we go to the map, we can put a waypoint. There we go. All right. It doesn't show me on the road, but it just kind of highlights it, and it tells you how far you are in kilometers. So we got to reach the Twin Falls mountain. There's some people on the left here. Oh, this world is freaking huge, though. Uh-oh. Should we just run them over? Nah. We're going to use some other stuff here. Here we go. I'm going to use the P90. P90. Here we go. First, we just gotta make sure what type of enemies they are. Damn, area is massive. How the hell are we supposed to find anyone in this? Man, if I told you what they were up to out here, you wouldn't believe me. It. Sorry. I was trying to experiment on how to do that little flash uh, thing that we did back there, but I think it's not like regenerated. Like where you press LB and RB. I'm thinking it's that little left bar meter at the bottom left hand side. I'm not too sure yet. But on the bright side, we have ourselves a new vehicle. I also have, uh, let me see, do we need to use this? I don't think we have to right now. All right? No. We're not injured at all. These guys didn't drop anything either, so... I think we're pretty good. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm just mesmerized by these graphics. I like games that look nice. No, not the passenger, man. Not the passenger. Get out the vehicle. I'm supposed to be driving this. Oh, and press RT. Right, right trigger to fire from the window. Oh, that's if you're a passenger, of course. Oh, this is a nice, nice vehicle. This is looking good. I like this. All right, so we are officially in Lake Mary. And coming up on our destination. It's above the hill, I think, right? Because, I mean, oh, okay, so it's one of these where we got to turn around. Okay, okay. That makes sense. There's actually a helicopter there. So that looks fun. Holy crap. Enter the cave. All right, let's go. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Oh my God. Stop right there. <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. 
Get in. All right, so reach the other surviving ghost. Yeah, this is it right here. Objective complete. Reach the other surviving ghost. Find the survivors in uh, arrow one. So this is the the main entrance. And I believe if we go over there. By the way, I like this hat. It's a Spartan hat. That's probably because of the Ubisoft club. That's really cool. But let's go up here and see what we have up here. Oh, dude, what? What is this place? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Yeah, this has to be like the safe haven, like the, the headquarters right now. These are a bunch of other players online. Oh, so sick. PvP is now available in the objectives board. Dope. Are you boys all right or what? <laughs> We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Wow. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. Our mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> You boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? For now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. <clears throat> Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Man, these graphics are nice. Best we can tell. Some kind of military takeover. Sentinel. Military contractors, they put this place under martial law. Using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? <laughs> and then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. <sighs> All right, PvP is now available on a projector board. LMG compensator. All right, guys, so I think we're going to end it here. I think we've made some pretty decent progress. We are officially in our i guess you can say headquarters for now and then as you can see uh we have other players online just kind of roaming around which is really cool um and then we also have another objective that we have to do that probably goes towards the uh main storyline but i want to thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed it a uh, huge shout out to ubisoft for sponsoring this video and giving me some uh, access to the closed beta to be able to bring it to you guys here. If you guys want to know or find out anything about Ghost Recon Breakpoint, make sure you guys check the links down in the description. Again, thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed it. 
And um, I hope to see you guys around soon on another Ghost Recon video. And as always, catch you later.